Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat, the longest day with me, your Cucumber. Okay, so... Pegasus Bridge. I, I don't know how many times I've fought on this map, but it must be a f quite a few times. Let's see. We still have some Shermans. We have some six-pounder guns. And... Yeah, we're running out of tanks, so I'm gonna be real careful trying to take these guys down. <coughs> Hopefully we'll succeed. Um, in the worst case, I'm gonna have to pull out. And it's lucky there are Panzer IVs there, and not other kinds of nasties. Uh, let's see if we can. Can we get the vigorous machine guns resupply? No, actually, three guys is enough to man it. I'm gonna keep it that way. I am going to replace you guys. I'm sorry. <coughs> and there we go. To full platoon headquarters. <coughs> All right, let's do it. Have we made any kind of progress? We actually have. We have the poor Sots house. And we have a trench. That is in itself fantastic. Um I really don't know where the Germans will be. But what we need to do, <laughs> in any case, is get the Sherman across the freaking bridge if we can. Yeah, we can. Okay, that's cool. Let's make it into a sort of defensive pocket here with our rears to the ri river and then into that building, half into that building, so that it cannot possibly be shot from the rear ever. There we go. That's fantastic. I like it. And then we have one of the six pounder guns. We could put that like inside of the building there on the fence. And while we're at it, let's have a brand group here. Right in there. There we go. On the fence. You guys will be firing on them. This is the middle group here is gonna take the brunt of the attack from the poor Sod's house. On the fence, there we go. I want you guys to be like in this area here. There we go. Alright, we need something to cover them on the side here, and I think that's gotta be the second uh, 12 pounder gun. We'll put it down here near these tank racks. Can it fire into the field here? It actually can. Perfect. That's what I want to go for. On the fence, I want these guys to fire instantly the moment they enter the game. And we have one more Sherman left. And I basically want to have Shermans mm, near the bridge, if possible. And maybe we can use this little bunker as a... No, that's a bad idea. I think we should use the poor Sod's house as sort of a a defensive post. There we go. Like this. And hopefully that'll keep us alive long enough. And we've got the platoon, head the platoon headquarters. And we're gonna put them <laughs> back up here. Like, can they fire over the... Yeah, they can. Okay, cool. They should. <laughs> put them on ambush. They're just gonna be watching. This is the Vickers machine gun and they're gonna fire away straight from the start of the game. Got in three inch mortars that we will put in a position where they can instantly fire at the enemy. Um, I'll put them in this little area here. On the fence. Yeah, they can pretty much aim at anyone from there. Throw in the three inch mortars on this side, also on the fence. Hopefully, finally, we might have a, a shot at this particular part. I guess I'll put everyone on the fence, really. There's no need to <laughs> make it any more difficult. <coughs> Brand group. That Brand group is going to be behind this little bunker here. Defending itself to this side. There we go. And then we have another brand group, and they're right here. They're at the, the, the poor Salt's house. 
put them on the fence. Put these guys on the fence like this. There we go. Then we have a rifle group. A rifle group that should instantly run to this trench and take cover. Hopefully they'll make it. And we have a two inch mortar team. It's going to be on our, m our flank here as well. Aiming at whomever we can get. Can they? Yeah, they can pretty much see everything there. Okay, cool. Alright, that's it. We have one airplane that might help us and hopefully we'll make this into a, a, a good start of the scenario. And we will actually. Yes, we actually destroyed two of them already. Another target destroyed. Okay. We have immobilized another tank, but our tanks are still up. Fire is dead. Alan is incapacitated. Don't you dare. You will defend yourself. Okay. Look at our Panzer Ford burning. Okay, that that one is gone too. Uh, offering ceasefire, eh? Oh, I don't think so, man. But we are going to move along this flank since there's no more tanks. So now that we can, we will. There's no more tanks, right? Yeah, we definitely have no more units that, in, that are actually in, in, in a way capable of firing, so... That's good progress. Okay, they're all dead or incapacitated, unfortunately. Let's go uh, grab some flags while we can. The landing zone, recapturing that is... Oh god, no, there was still a gun there. Damn it. Yep, the last Panzer IV. I think I'll take the truce for that. <laughs> okay. Whew. That was a very quick battle. I should not have moved with the tank. Um, that was a mistake. I didn't know where the last tank was. But still... Uh, considering our battle, I think we did okay. We lost three armor, no, one armor, and he lost three, and one vehicle was destroyed. One was damaged, and we killed a lot of guys, so all in all, not bad. Let's see what's next. Alright, next up is going to be Troan against this uh, Grenadier group, who are well, very well supplied, unfortunately. But our Paras are. Uh, in good spirits because well the Canadi Canadians are coming <coughs> slowly but surely. All right. Oh my, the second SS still in there. Yeah, we might have might have some trouble there. <laughs> but uh, the rest of this area seems to be clear, so good on us. We are ending almost ending this campaign. Anyway, thank you all uh, for joining me in this part. It was a short part, and uh, join me on the next one. Bye-bye.